Tobacco companies and the global tobacco industry has a history of using ISDS clauses to intimidate governments, uh, to prevent regulatory actions from happening, to try and put public health priorities below corporate interests sort of, of selling a product that will kill half of the people who will use it. In Australia, we have world-leading legislation for the plain packaging of tobacco products. Uh, this was introduced in December of 2011. Several tobacco companies took the Australian government to the High Court to challenge these laws. They failed. Uh, six to one judges upheld the legislation. They gave all kinds of reasons as to why this wasn't an effective public health regulation and that's why it shouldn't go ahead. Everything from it will increase illicit trade, violation of treaties, uh, it wouldn't work, it may actually increase smoking among youth, um, you name it, they probably tried it on. So having the High Court challenge fail, Philip Morris International actually moved their operations to Hong Kong where they've invoked an ISDS clause to say that plain packaging um, violates this trade agreement. Of course they actually moved their operations there after plain packaging had been enacted so they can't claim that this sort of was unknown to them or it was happened after they had invested heavily or any sort of the other sort of reasons they give for being able to invoke these sorts of clauses. We've now had the legislation in place since December 2011 and early evaluation is showing extremely promising results. We've seen increases in the number of people who want to quit as a result of plain packaging. We've seen increases in people's negative attitudes toward branding and we've seen children uh, less able to sort of associate positive messages and positive role models with certain brands on packages. And we absolutely have not seen an increase in illicit tobacco use. The tobacco industry loves to use the law and the courts to try and fight back against regulations to protect public health. My biggest fear with ISDS clauses is they give power to corporations that actually addict and kill their best customers and remove power from democratically elected governments.